How do you stay safe at home when you had to flee your home for safety? What does protection look like in a pandemic? The need to support and defend the world's forcibly displaced is greater than ever. But the coronavirus has strained our ability to respond. The numbers resettled this year have been severely reduced, with the limited numbers of places made available further impacted, of course, by the pandemic, including disruptions to international flights and closed borders. Access to asylum, access to territory. Life-saving international laws are being tested as some countries shut borders. And economic chaos has unleashed new hardship on the most vulnerable. We are struggling to buy food and mostly the money that we get is not enough to cover all the expenses that we have in the house. But in a time of Covid, we also find hope. In smart decisions to include refugees and national health responses. In our own determination to bolster programmes that combat the impact of coronavirus, from social support to virtual education. In the solidarity of nations which still welcome refugees for resettlement and a new beginning. And in the acts of everyday heroes. When the society is bien frappée par a maladie, bien frappée par a war, Je me sentis qu'il faut réagir tout de suite pour donner aux autres, pour faire partie de la société. Refugees and activists alike have stepped up everywhere for their communities, for their host communities, for each other. I believe solidarity is human responsibility. As refugees, I understand and I know better what is the meaning of a crisis. In the face of a crisis, humanitarian needs come first. They guide the way forward. Stopping the virus and offering protection must not be a zero-sum equation. Both are possible and lives can be saved.